Hi, thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking about this product by Hourglass. It is Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint and it has SPF 15. The reason I picked this up is because it's winter and in winter my skin gets really dry and sensitive. Any fine lines, pores, anything like that, it's definitely emphasized. So I was looking for something to help hydrate my skin while making it more radiant because it's definitely not radiant in the winter and always looking for something to hydrate it. So I was just going to read to you the claims because that's what caught my eye when I went to Sephora. I had not really researched this product, but I knew what I was looking for in terms of a solution. It does say it's medium to full coverage, so you can build it up. It's for sensitive, normal, dry skin, so definitely dry and sensitive. So if you're oily, you might not like this product, it doesn't say it's for oily skin. It's got a radiant natural finish as well, which is something that I look for in any finish, whether it's a skin tint or a foundation. It's got SPF 15, very minimal. I use an SPF 50, 50, usually on a daily basis. And when I go through the try-in here, I'm not actually applying the 50, 50 because it does impact the color. So I want you to see what it looks like just on the skin. So we'll do that. It says it smooths the look of fine lines and wrinkles and sagging skin. So I did talk about fine lines, not necessarily sagging skin, but that's quite the claim. And it delivers a radiant glow for a smoother, firmer, youthful looking complexion. This is a hydrating, firming foundation. So I wasn't really looking for firming, but if that's in it, great. It evens out the skin tone, softens imperfections. If you've seen any of my videos before, you'll notice that I do have darkness that I'm always having to dress, whether it's winter or summer, it doesn't matter the season, it's always there. So anything that can soften that, that's great. Boosts moisture levels in the skin, formulated with hourglass hyaluronin complex. Hyaluronin? Hyaluronin, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. An advanced form of hyaluronic acid that plumped, tightened appearance while filling in deep wrinkles. I think that's a typo. I think it's supposed to say that plumps and tightens appearance while filling in deep wrinkles. I don't know. Okay, anyway, it's supposed to fill in deep wrinkles and tighten the appearance of skin. Pearlescent pigments infuse a complexion with a luminous glow. Now, when I swatched this and also when I applied it on my skin, I didn't see particles in the product. So they might be very, very tiny, not like the um, the CC Serum by By Terry. If you've tried that, I love it. Uh, but it does have very visible particles in it that you can see reflect the light. So in this one, I'm going to swatch here of it. And this is in Honey. It doesn't really have like a reflective thing. I can't really see individual particles in there, so it must be very subtle um, because it's not really visible. Unless my eyes are getting bad, I can't really see any. Maybe it's very, I mean, it's very, very teeny tiny particles then if there's anything visible in there. It's whipped, creamy texture imparts medium to full coverage while providing SPF 15. And it also is formulated with that paraben, sulfates, and phthalates. The Hourglass founder, her name's Carissa Jane, says that this infuses your skin with an almost supernatural glow, but it also addresses the visible signs of aging. It lifts, tightens, and hydrates skin. So, I have it on right now. It does wonders for dull, lackluster skin, which is definitely a very good description of my skin in the winter. Hourglass products are 100% cruelty-free, and this product is free of fragrance. So they also included some information about the research behind this and they had a study of 30 women on the end count. It's not very large, it's 30 people um, after two weeks. So just something to take into account. Based on this experience, 100% of them reported improvement in the look of skin's firmness and smoothness, 100% said fine lines and wrinkles seemed reduced, and 96% reported a noticeable increase in skin's radiance. So since it was a two week process, that tells me that this probably works over time on your skin. So we'll see how it goes. I've been wearing it for about a week now, just as my daily go-to. It's really easy to use. I'm going to go through the process with you applying a primer, which is by Hourglass. I purchased the serum one and then um, this on top of it and just show you how much it really covers up. I did finish up with some concealer and powders just like normal, but you'll be able to see on my skin how much it really does to address those claims. And then I will come back with some final thoughts. So if you'd like to see how that application goes and hear my final thoughts, please keep watching. I'm gonna start with the primer, the number 28 Primer Serum by Hourglass. I just got a tester one first to see if I like it. And the directions say one pump is enough and I'm gonna just apply it in the middle first and sweep it up. Now my skin is drinking up all kinds of hydration, any kind of hydration. So this will probably sink in quickly, but it says to wait two minutes before applying foundation. So we'll wait two minutes. Put the timer on. According to the website, it says to use 
the hourglass brush for foundation or your fingers. So I'm going to use my fingers here because I don't have that brush. I'm just gonna dot the product right here towards the center of my face where I need the most coverage. And I'm gonna sweep it outwards. I do have a beauty blender standing by in case I need it. So you can see how much coverage there is because of my discoloration, especially in the center parts of my face. So it gives you a good idea of how much coverage you can get with this product. There's still some darkness poking through there. I'm gonna use Beauty Blender because I see a few streaks from my fingers just moving the product around. So yeah, I definitely see some of the darkness still there. It warmed up my complexion a bit and it's definitely hydrating. Before I finish up everything else, I do watch the playback right after I film just to make sure I have what I need before I go on to the next step. What I noticed though is that there's like little particles, I don't know if you saw, on the sides of my face as I was applying the foundation. It was like little, you know when you have interaction between various chemicals you have on your face and they form like gelatinous little particles? I was getting that with the serum mixing and I wanna say it was probably with the Tatcha, um, I have the Indigo moisturizer in there. It's really heavy duty, but sometimes it does interact oddly with some different types of Primers, so I think that may have been what it is and if you do have that problem just you know just wipe it off It's not a big deal and I think that's it, but if you noticed it, I, I think that's what was happening Okay, now I'm gonna get ready <laughs> and we are back with everything else put on. I just added concealer uh, powder bronzer lip Is that it? I think so. Oh a little bit of highlighter too and I just wanted to tell you about the range of colors and I'm looking this up on my phone because that was my only disappointing thing about this product is there were two four six eight ten twelve colors available the darkest shade is called sable and it doesn't look that deep so I wish they would have a larger range especially on the deeper richer side because I'm not that tan right now this is my winter shade and if I do get tan, I may even reach that deepest shade sable. So if they expanded the range, that would be even better. But let's talk about those claims really quickly. Uh, is it radiant and natural? Yes, I think it's very natural looking. It is medium to full coverage. You can build it up. Great for my skin, which is dry. And it says that, uh, let's see, I can't tell you about the uh, improvement of skin's firmness and smoothness because I haven't been using it that long yet. I'm, I guess I've got to use it for about two weeks or longer and then I'll get back to you. Um, and then fine lines and wrinkles being reduced. I can tell you, I don't know about that yet, but I can tell you that they're not emphasized with this because sometimes with dry skin, you put something on and it looks much worse and that's what I didn't want happening. I didn't want to apply any kind of makeup and foundation or skin tint and then have those fine lines look even worse. So I was just looking for something to even up my skin tone while not emphasizing it and this does it. So, so far so good. I am liking that it's moisturizing, great for dry skin. Like I said, if you have oily skin, maybe not the best thing for you. But I am curious to see how this works in the next few weeks to see if I do notice anything because I will be using this every day until it's gone. It is $55, I think. Is that how much it is? It is $56 for this little... How big are you? You've got uh, one ounce. So I will be using this whole thing and I'll let you know how it goes as soon as it's finished. But especially at this first point, I'll definitely be using the whole thing. And I hope that you learned something from this and I could bring your attention to something to try if you have dry, wintry, dull skin like me and want to find a solution. I hope that I was able to give you some information. And if you learned something, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks and pores that I have are definitely, definitely, definitely what, with an SP, eh, eh.